Marketing Your Private Practice is a podcast where you'll learn easy to implement tips and strategies to grow your business without spending all day online. I'm your host, Kathy Koliakovo, and I teach practitioners the Thrive Marketing Method to create simple and streamlined plans by focusing on long-term strategies, not just social media. Discover ways to spend less time on your marketing, attract more clients, and build the financial freedom that comes with a thriving practice. One where you have time left in your day for the people and things that matter to you. Hey, Private Practice Heroes. Thanks for tuning into the podcast today. And if we haven't met before, I'm Kathy Koliakovo, host of Marketing Your Private Practice with Kathy C. And my podcast here is one where I'd like to share tips to help you simplify and streamline your marketing so that you spend less time doing the marketing and actually get more results from it, more leads and more clients. And that's what's going to help you thrive in business and life. Today, we're going to do a how-to lesson. These are the types of episodes where I'll walk you step-by-step on doing something very specific to help you with your marketing. Generally, that something is a marketing tactic or strategy that will help you boost results in some area of what you're doing to market your private practice or your business. The one today that we're going to talk about is how you can do one type of post on Instagram that will help you grow your email marketing list. One simple type of post and putting it out there and posting it on Instagram will help you get more subscribers, which means more people getting added to your email list, asking to be added to your email list, signing up on their own because you've got something they want. So it is all about lead generation. And this has been a theme of the lessons on my podcast recently, lead generation and lead magnets. Because it's often an area of marketing that folks know can help them grow their business, but it's confusing and there are a lot of steps to get it working smoothly. Steps that when they're missed can cause almost all of your efforts to be a waste of time or simply take too much time and nobody wants that. So if you're ready for it, let's get into how you can use one type of post to grow your email marketing list by posting it on Instagram. And you'll learn a little about this too on how you can do similar things on Facebook or LinkedIn as well, if you want to. Well, truth be told, from this lesson, you'll actually understand the answer to one of the top seven mistakes with lead magnets that I shared in last week's episode. And the focus has been on lead magnets and lead generation because in this day and age, I find that most business owners know getting leads is critical to the growth of their business. They also know they should have a lead magnet. And once they get over roadblock number one, which is creating the lead magnet and setting up the entire system, then comes the day finally when they're ready for subscribers. So here's how I find it typically goes. And let me know if it sounds like you. You've got it all set. Your lead magnet, check. Lead generation page, check. Thank you page, check. Tags, forms, automation, they're all set up in your email marketing system. Check, check, and double check. You are ready for people to subscribe. And then it happens. Silence. Or very little noise. Maybe a little squeak or two, but nothing really steady. Fits and starts of people signing up, but not anything that's consistent. So what's happened? Well, I find it's generally mistake number six that I mentioned last week on episode 69. You've fallen into the Kevin Costner marketing trap. You have assumed that because you built it, they will come. And if you're not sure what that reference means, just go to Google and Google the movie Field of Dreams with Kevin Costner and you'll totally understand. The thing is here, when you think that just because you've built it, they will come, you're on the wrong path. Yes, you've built it, definitely. And they will come, yes, but only if you're marketing your lead magnet. Mistake number six is not telling people you have a lead magnet or marketing it on a consistent basis. I said it last week on episode 69, and I will say it here again, because this is often one of the biggest reasons people do not have consistent subscribers. 
they are not consistently marketing their lead magnets. It is one of the top reasons I find in lead magnet reviews that I do for folks in my Thrive Marketing Academy that they're not getting signups. People come to me and they ask me to do reviews of their lead generation system. They sign up for a marketing roadmap session with me, and that's the focus we're looking at, their lead gen, their lead magnets. And whenever I'm doing these, doesn't matter what situation I'm in here, one of the main reasons I find that they're not getting signups is they simply are not making any effort or very little to promote the fact that they have this awesome lead magnet. And I can't stress this enough. Lead magnet promotional posts are needed in every consistent content plan. They're evergreen content in your plan, and you've got to add it to your marketing and do it consistently and have these posts going out there. And if you're not sure what a consistent content plan is all about, I have an episode on that and I will link to it in the show notes as well. The thing is here, you've got to be marketing that lead magnet. And there are other ways to do it, not just through Facebook or Instagram. I actually give folks in my training programs a marketing tip sheet that lists out 10 ways to market your lead magnet. And only a couple of them are focused on social media. So we are going to talk about one of those ways today and talk about how you can be marketing that lead magnet in particular today, it's going to be focused on Instagram, but there's lots of ways you can be doing it and it should be something you're doing consistently. And yes, I know some of you listening are registered in my training that starts on November 13th, all about lead magnets and building your irresistible lead magnet. So don't worry, you'll be getting a copy of this tip sheet. Don't panic. I got you covered. Now, if you're listening after November of 2023 and you're not sure about it, just message me on Instagram or Facebook and ask what kind of options there are for some free training sessions like the ones we're doing this week. Back to the lead magnet promote posts here. These promotional posts are a type of post that you want to use on social media that you will be using with a focus of strictly marketing the lead magnet, telling people about it and how to sign up for it. And because it's this evergreen content, I like to teach people to have a stash of them to use over time. They're not dated. They don't have a time-based element to them. People can sign up for your lead magnet anytime. That means this kind of content is evergreen content. It's relevant all the time. So creating a lead magnet promotional post is simply writing a sentence or two on how your lead magnet can help someone, and then having a call to action to click a link and sign up for it. A promotional post would sound something like this. I'll give you one for one of my examples here. Hey, if you've got a roadblock with your marketing that's holding you back and frustrating you, why not book a free marketing review with me? We'll get you over that block and get your marketing working to move you forward. Click the link here to book your review now. And that's it. Simple. Easy. It is a sales kind of content. So that's why it does sound a little salesy because I'm giving you some information and suggesting that if you have this problem, there's a way to solve it. In order to solve it, I give you a call to action to click the link. So, and it does sound a little different when you read them out loud versus what you see written online. But that is one of mine. And we post these consistently on Facebook and LinkedIn with the link to go with them for people to sign up. But if you try to post something like this on Instagram, it's a little different. You would need to use a call to action that says something like, hit the link in my bio to get your copy. And okay, I'm really hoping that if you're listening to this, and if you do say that line in some of your content, that at least one of your links in your bio does go to your lead generation page where they can get that lead magnet, right? Right? Okay. If you're listening and thinking, um, I think so, Kathy, but I'm not sure. Oh boy. If that's you, promise me something. One, you'll book your seat in my training. There's a link to it in the show notes. And even if you're a day behind, you'll learn more about why this link in bio issue is a problem if you're not sending them to a lead generation page. Now, if you're listening to this when that training is over, it's too late for this year's training, but you can book a free marketing review with me. Those are open all year round, and I'll put a link to those in the show notes for you too. But here's the trouble with when you're trying to put these lead magnet promo posts on Instagram. 
you could put them there and you can say, click the link in my bio. And that's what a lot of us have to do. People that aren't influencers, people that don't have more than 10,000 followers on Instagram. When you're at that level, you get the option to add a clickable link in the post for people to hit. And that means those posts for people with more than 10,000 followers will have that clickable link. And you don't have to say the words, click the link in my bio and hope they take the action and go up to your bio and click the link on there and then follow through. Simple is always easy. And if people can just simply click a link, then they can take that action a lot easier. So when you don't have this, when you don't have more than 10,000 followers, what do you do? Well, that's the workaround that we're going to talk about here today. It's our how-to lesson of how you're going to use one simple type of post to build your email list. And here it is. This is the genius I want to share today. This is the way us regular business and practice owners can have those clickable link posts. Are you ready for it? We share them as a story on Instagram. That's it. We're going to post a story on Instagram. There is a catch to it, but it is very simple. And I told you it was simple, didn't I? I mean, I did call the title of this episode, Boost Your Email List with one simple post on Instagram. Now, you are going to have to post it more than once. I'll be honest about that. But that's it. To have effective lead magnet promotional posts on Instagram, what you do is simply share them as a story in your Instagram profile and add a link to the image you're sharing in the story, a clickable link, because this is something that has changed over time with Instagram. Everyone now has access to be able to add a clickable link to a story that you post on Instagram. But what I find is that when I tell people about this, they tend to make the whole idea a lot more complicated than they need to. So posting those consistent lead magnet promotional posts on Instagram as stories. And I have to say, I love using stories for content on Instagram for a few reasons. One, you don't need to write captions, a picture, a video. They're worth a thousand words here. Number two, you can pre-schedule stories. And I recommend doing this for stories that don't require links and that don't require a lot of the added features and the stickers that you can put on them too. The third thing I love about using stories for content is that they have a lot of those features you can add on to help people engage with you. That does mean you typically can't pre-schedule them, but you can definitely add them and try to get more and more engagement with the content you're putting out there. The fourth reason why I love using these is you can reuse and repurpose the content within reason, okay? But you can reuse them because they disappear after 24 hours. So unless somebody is watching every single post that you do every minute of every day, this repurposing is an option for you and it helps you use less content in more ways. And that's a big, big time saver. And the fifth reason is actually the reason for this lesson. I like using stories because you can use clickable links in them now. And so when we talk about lead magnet promotional posts, they kind of hit several of those reasons I just listed. You can put them out. You don't need captions written to go with them. You have added features you can use. You can repurpose them and they have clickable links. Now, I didn't say you could pre-schedule these lead magnet promotional posts because as of this recording, you still cannot effectively schedule a story with a clickable link. At least I haven't found a scheduling tool that does this yet. If you know of one, please message me and let me know and tell me what you found. But the fact that you can't add a link, that's why I have a system for posting these because they can't be scheduled. So I need to make it as easy as possible to post them because they do help and I do get signups from them. And any one of my students and my clients that we do this for the same thing happens as well. So let's dive into the system I follow for posting Instagram stories with links. Because I do this to not only promote my lead magnets, but I promote my podcast episodes this way. Any free trainings that I have or offer, I do it too. I do it because I can add those links, those clickable links. So it's not limited to just lead magnet promotional posts. 
Now, the one thing I will say here is I don't have time in this lesson to go over how much you need to schedule them, how often, and how to work up a schedule. I'm just going to let you know that you do want to have a mix of the content you put out there, even in your Instagram stories. Now, I have a formula that I teach program members to use to follow to mix up their marketing content. And there's three categories business content, sales content, and persona content. So when we talk about these, I recommend 30% of what you put out there is business content. So a lot of this business content is more educational. So maybe tips and info to help others, sharing articles that would be helpful to read, things like that. Not your own articles, but other ones, okay? 30% of your content should be sales content and lead magnet promotional posts that we're talking about here today are sales content. And sales content is when you want someone to take action and click a link. When you have that CTA, that call to action, you're making a sales post. And the third one is persona content. And this I always recommend being about 40%. I work primarily with service-based business owners, private practice owners, dietitians, therapists, clinicians, some service-based clients like coaches as well. And persona content is the kind of content that helps people get to know you. It's not detailed personal stuff, but things you would share with people in networking events or at conferences, stuff that lets people get to know you a little bit. And this is really critical for the service-based entrepreneur like those in private practice or coaches. People are typically buying your expertise, so they want to know you. They want to trust you. If they're going to make a decision to work with you, they want to feel that you're somebody they could work with successfully. And persona content helps with this. So that should be about 40%. Now, you don't want to overmix your content and go wild, especially on Instagram, with these lead magnet promos in your story. So you want to still mix up the content. Look at it, you know, business tips, information, sales, and persona. So always have that mix there so that you're not having way too many sales posts. You will just sound like a broken record to people if you do that. And that formula, 30, 30, and 40, is all about helping you have a good mix of content so that people don't get tired of hearing the one same thing from you over and over and over, okay? So as we get into this system, I want to share with you how it is easy as pie to be able to post these kinds of lead magnet promotional posts quick and easy on your stories with a link. It starts with being prepared with everything that you're going to need to use to do this. So we're going to get into the step-by-step here. And I'm going to tell you the first four steps are getting prepared for the fifth step. And the fifth step is the actual posting of the story. It actually has nine steps under it. So maybe we're really talking about 13 steps here, but you get the idea. So let's dive into the five steps to post Instagram stories with clickable links and do it in under two minutes. So here's your pre-prep work. First thing you want to do is create a stash of Instagram story size images to use. Now, when you create these, a picture does have to say a thousand words here. So these typically need some sort of words on them if you're using an image. You can do this with videos too, by the way. So if you want to be brave and do them as videos, you can do that too. I typically wouldn't recommend doing the kind of videos where you take pieces and images and put them together and make a video. I would either do a talking head video of you talking to somebody and telling, you know, on the screen, they're seeing your face about the lead magnet or do images with words on them that explain and have a message on them to make it clear what you're offering and the benefit to the lead magnet. And what I do here is we already have images like this created for Facebook and LinkedIn. So I resize them using Canva's magic resize button. Very easy to do. So you've made these stash of Instagram story size images to use. Second step is you want to save these images in a place where they are accessible easily on the mobile device you're going to be using to post on Instagram. I save mine in Dropbox and I have a Dropbox app on my iPhone. So what I do here is what you want to do, however you're going to set these up so that you can put them on your mobile device. 
So I go to my Dropbox app. I go into the file where I save them. I click on each one and save them to my mobile device. I put mine in a special album so I know exactly where they are because I'm going to need them at some point. Then you want to have the link for your lead generation page ready to copy and paste on your phone. I simply go to the browser on my phone and I go to my website so often it comes up in the favorite websites. And so it's very easy for me to click on it and go to the page that I need because I'm going to want to copy and paste that link to use when I'm posting the content on Instagram in the story. And the fourth step here is to set a schedule. So you're going to know how often you need to do this, what day you need to make it happen, and when you're going to post them to go live. So once you have those four steps ready, you're ready for posting. So on the day that you're going to go in and you're scheduled to post a story, here are the steps that you're going to follow. And this is typically the process that takes, once you get used to it a little bit, it will take you just a couple minutes to do. Step one, you're going to go to your mobile device. You're going to go to Instagram, to the homepage, and you're going to hit the plus symbol up in the top right corner and click add a story. It will pull up your camera images then, and you're going to find the one that you want and click on it. And this adds it to be posted as a story. Next thing you do is go to your website and grab the link to your lead generation page and copy that URL. So you do this on your phone. Then you go back to Instagram, click that happy face icon up at the top, which is technically called, I think, the sticker icon. Hit that up there and there's a bunch of features you could add. You're going to choose link from all the features that are there. When you do that, it opens up a little spot at the top of your phone. You're going to paste the URL in the URL area. Then your next step is to hit the customized sticker text words that are under the URL. And this is where you need to type in some call to action words. So you want to have a thought of what you're going to use here. So this could be something like download your copy, click to get it now, some sort of action oriented words that indicate to people that if they click there where that link is, it's going to take them to wherever they can sign up for the lead magnet. Okay. Now at this point, when you put the link in there, you get some options and it doesn't really say this, but if you tap the link sticker, once you've posted the link into it, you can click it and it will give you some different color options. So, you know, you have a white option. There's a couple different colors. There's some rainbow colors, which I love having. And then, um, so you can kind of look at that. It may change sometimes and it may be based on your own phone and your device, but you just kind of pick what will stand out over the image. Okay. Then you can move that link to different places on top of the image. So you can hold it, click on it, hold it down and you can move it around. I try to avoid the top and very bottom because sometimes when people are looking at the stories, the username Um, will cover things up at the top or the bottom, um, more so the top. So try to put it where it's just a little above at the bottom or somewhere else on the page so that it's not going to cut off by anything else. And at this point, you can also add some more stickers or elements. Sometimes I'll add, um, I'll go back to the happy face icon, the stickers, and I'll look for like an arrow, something like that, that I may want to make stand out the call to action that I have on the URL on the link. Once you're done here, though, you simply hit and you know you're ready to go. Just hit the words your story at the bottom left of your screen and that will post it as the Instagram story. And then you're done. You have posted a lead magnet promotional post as a story and people who see it can click on that link and go to that spot on your website and sign up for the lead magnet and get on your email list. Now. Those steps that I just talked you through to post the story, there's nine steps there. Talking through it takes a little bit of time, okay? And you're probably going to be looking at your phone doing this. You may want to go back and rewind here. Actually, probably what I'll do, I'll do a little how-to video. I'll put my phone on screen share and I'll go through this and show you how to do this. Um, So stay tuned if you're following me on Instagram or if you're on my email list. I will be sending out an email and I'll tell people where you can find the video. So I will make a screen share video of this to show you exactly how to do it. But once you get to this point where you're getting used to doing it over and over, 
that will get you to the under two minutes that it would take to post this there. And my biggest recommendation here is keep it simple. This post is only going to show for 24 hours. It's not one you want to put over and over in a highlight. You could definitely put each one, every time you do one of these images that you have in your stash, you could put them in there. I don't know if I would use that for a highlight um, spot on my Instagram. The idea is here that you just need to keep it simple. It's only going to show for 24 hours, so don't spend a ton of time on it. You're not Da Vinci here. You're not painting a masterpiece with this image that you're creating. So keep it as simple as possible. And that is it. Do this over and over on the days you plan to have those lead magnet promotional posts go out. And you will find this one type of post on your Instagram will help you build more subscribers on your email marketing list. That list is an asset for your business of names and emails of people potentially interested in doing business with you. And it really is as simple as that. Two minutes and you could get more signups on your email marketing list. So what's your action step from the lesson today? I want you to start with the five steps here and plan out those lead magnet promo posts. Now, this, of course, is assuming you have a lead magnet. So you need to have that in place first. And you need to have your entire system set up with all the pieces and the elements in there. And that I did share in episode 68. So you can go back and listen to that episode to get that information of the seven elements in your lead generation system. So you've got it up, you've got it running, you've got a lead magnet, you're ready to promote. Start with the plan, think about this. So you're going to want to make the images you're going to need. You need to get everything ready to use on your mobile device. And then you need to determine your schedule and how often you're going to want to do these kinds of posts. And then your last step, which I didn't tell you earlier, but you need to set some sort of reminder so that you remember to post them live on these set days and times and make it happen. Now, one thing I do want to say about this strategy, you can use this for other types of posts too. It's not just limited to lead magnets. It's just been the focus of the podcast recently. You can use this to put up links to sign up for a program, for a course, for a discovery call, even to read a blog post. It's a great way to market your blog posts too. Or like me, I use it to listen to my podcast and put posts like that out there. But keep in mind, These posts with links and calls to action are sales posts. So do not, do not, not, not have too many of these sales posts and not enough of the business and persona ones. You need to keep that mix there. And I will tell you, when I do marketing reviews, I literally count the last 10 posts and I'm looking for three business, three sales, and four persona. When you have those out of balance, that's when you're going to probably, if you're out of balance in the way of doing too many sales, because I either find people do too many sales or not enough at all. But when you're doing too many sales, you will come across as very salesy in your marketing versus helpful. And most of the time, people that we think of as helpful are the people we trust more than the ones we think of as, oh, they're always selling, always selling, always selling. Not that I'm saying you can't sell, but don't overdo it. Okay. So I want you to try this out now. It is one way to market your lead magnet. So people know you have it there, that ebook, the guide, the checklist, whatever type of lead magnet you created, you've got something there for your potential clients, something that can help them with a problem and help you build a list of pre-qualified leads for your practice or your business but you've got to tell people you have it there. Not marketing your own lead magnet is one of the top mistakes practice and business owners make with lead generation. Remember, if you aren't telling anybody you have that lead magnet, who will? You're the CEO of your business. It's on you to make this happen. I will put a link to all the resources I mentioned above because I know I dropped a lot of episodes of the podcast and the training and the marketing review. So I will put links to all of those in the show notes and you can find them at marketingyourprivatepractice.com slash 70. And that's the number 70, seven zero. So this is Kathy Koliakovo signing off and saying, thanks for listening in. I truly appreciate the time you take to listen to my lessons here on the podcast. And remember to thrive in practice. It starts with building a list of prospects or leads 
people interested in your services, potential ideal clients. And if you've taken a time to create a lead magnet to attract them, don't stop there. Make sure you're telling people about it too. And this way of doing it takes just two minutes and it helps you use Instagram to build your email list. I'll see you next time. You can find all of our show notes and resources mentioned at marketingyourprivatepractice.com. Be sure to connect with me on Instagram at pepperitmarketing and say hi. I'd love to hear any feedback you have and make sure to rate and review the podcast and hit subscribe on your favorite player so you don't miss any future episodes.